Hey there, my friends. I hope that you are having a great Friday. We're going to make chippies today because I'm confused. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of funny, but the thing is that um, I'm, I want to put some new things in the shop, and I'm like, mm, I just don't know what I want to do. And sometimes when you're just like in a confused state and you don't really know what you want to do, then that is a perfect time to get out your your chippy bin and just do some chippies because they kind of are those flow experiences and they uh, just allow you to create without a lot of thought and you know I just love things like that I like uh, just being able to slap down something you know when I first started listening watching the marvelous Jenny Belly um, you know, she would just say something like, I slapped some paint on this. And I love the way that she was so free in her art and that she uh, created from a place of spirit. And she, I, I mean, she's like one of my um, all-time heroes. Jenny is a remarkable person, a remarkable light in this community. Um, she had some health issues and she was away for a while, but she's back now. She's just awesome. I just love her. I think she's amazing. All right, so that what we are doing in true kind of Jenny Belly style is just slapping some things down and seeing what happens. And that's really the fun of doing chippies. Uh, people say, well, how did you invent that? And I don't think I invented a chippy. I think maybe I was the first person to call it a chippy just because I was using chips of paper. I mean literally chips of paper. You know you can kind of see what we have to work with here and yup. It's pretty chippy. It's pretty tiny. I also really do like to create from what I have uh, on hand. Now I do have my little chippy stash here that I put small bits into but you can see that it's not a it's not a bin you know it's it's very it's a very small um, sort of container and I really like being able to utilize and use what comes into my life in a kind of on a daily basis to do chippies. Alright so we've got these two done um, now I just I'm kind of grabbing a little bit of uh, a few things that I cut from I think this was an advertisement so I'm just gonna use the words giant and grab and I've just got the word bag over here so you know chippies how do you use them? They're excellent for journal prompts. Uh, what do you want to grab? Do you want to grab life? Do you want to grab money? Do you want to grab a new relationship? Do you want to grab the future? Do you want to uh, grab a creative outlet? You know, giant. Um, what do you think is giant in nature? What are giant ideas to you? Uh, what are the, you know, and then you could do the opposite, your giant ideas, your small ideas, your minute ideas. So anytime you see these words, it's a great little jump off space into uh, journaling or, you know, you can do, uh, you can always bump out a chippy and make it into an art trading card or an eye card or, you know, kind of whatever you want. You can see that I'm just using cereal boxes here. My friend Kathy is the nanny to to our uh, little neighbors and she <laughs> always has cereal boxes. And we have cereal boxes because Chris is a big cereal fan. I'm, I'm not so much of a cereal fan. I think it's a bit sweet. Lots of people like it. He likes, he even likes like chocolatey cereal. I like, uh, I like non chocolatey. Like, if I do eat cereal, uh, I actually like a sweet cereal called Lucky Charms. I typically 
really like Cheerios. That's kind of super plain. Again, just grabbing, grabbing what I have on hand. Gift. These are great to put in Happy Mail. You know, just stick them in a greeting card or a letter. It jazzes things up, makes things cheerful. Anytime you can give anyone just a tiny happy, I think that that's a great thing to do. It's kind of fun working on two at a time just when <laughs> that worked out really good. We got a chicken up here. And then the word Monday, and you know, we can use, utilize the non from a calendar. Man, it's time to, to think about calendars for 2022. So, you know, you're finding a lot of 2021 calendars on sale. Or if you're like me, my friends donate to charitable causes. So they're always giving me these awesome calendars that they get when they donate. And it, I mean, that's so nice because I can always, always use things like that. I just layered that one. And then this one. Let's start here. I'm kind of go this way. We do have some text over here. On the text page. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we've done our gypsy jars the past month or so. We've done some jewelry, which was a new adventure. I uh, sold some bracelets, some beaded bracelets, and got the nicest note from Miss S. I'll show you her happy mail. It's really pretty. Uh, concerning the beaded bracelets and how much she liked them and gosh I mean that's that just made my heart warm, warm because I'm not I'm not like a um, my friend Sarah is a remarkable jeweler she knows all about it she knows all the um, how to make everything so beautiful I love that hand maybe we should put that over here because we've got a lot going on on these two. I said I would check into this. Okay. I see the word alarming right here. And I kind of like that. So I'm going to use that right here. Great journal prompt. What do you find alarming? I'm always amazed that I find certain things alarming or disturbing and other people just like don't. And I think that's the greatest thing, don't you? You know about humanity is that we all have, we all perceive things very different ways. I always think it's very interesting. This word says crowded. And I'm just clipping those from a piece of text that I had laying over here. You can also like use chippies and write a little note on the back. 
I get a lot of chippies with little notes written on the back, and I love them. So sweet. Yesterday was my birthday, and Chris and I, Chris took me out to eat at one of my favorite restaurants, which was Carrabba's. We don't do much in the restaurant thing. We really do prefer to eat at home. It was a special occasion. <clears throat> and then we went to <laughs> play pot pot at Top Golf, which if you've never played top pot pot at Top Golf, you're in for like an experience because it is not pot pot. I, I don't exactly know. The course is beautiful. Or the one that we have here is really beautiful, but it's like, it's super, it's confusing for one thing, um, but you know, we had a good laugh at it, at the whole thing. So I'm 63 now, Ugh. but you know, lots of people didn't make it to 63, so, you know. Good for me, I reckon. <laughs> he pimped my bicycle out, so I've been hardcore biking in the morning. Got me new tires and a new carrier. Uh, tightened up the gears on my bike. And also put two lights on my bike and that's super nice because now I can spin around at night got me a, a front tail a front light and a back tail light very nice I hmm. all right we're gonna dive into some of this happy mail this is <laughs> this is from uh, Miss S who bought my bracelets. I can't even say thank you enough for the sweet, 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 sweet note. She wrote a little note and it says she did this stamp and it says you're terrific. <laughs> I just thought it was so cute. But she um, she also put this little bit in there. I love your bead bracelets and. I, just it, it was just so sweet miss miss s thank you thank you so much that that just kind of i mean it really did just make my day i'm going to just um and what i'm gonna do is just is just kind of tear this beautiful cluster that she has made off here let me see if i can get well you know what i can't get it off i'm not going to be able to get it off so we'll just keep all this like it is and, but, oh, I totally forgot about the gorgeous envelope. Arr! So we'll use the gorgeous envelope to, to do a little chippy as well. I'm sorry, Miss S. Forgot about that envelope that I had laying over here. And, uh, you know, I got birthday cards. So we've got birthday envelopes over here. And I got a really special <laughs> note from Miss K and Mr. Cody can't wait to tell you about Mr. Cody. The sweetest thing. All right, we're just taking a bit of envelope and putting it right here. This was the return address uh, for my brother. <laughs> so he and my sister-in-law, who is my sister, sent me a note that says, from all of us, save this card. Years from now, you can look back at it and say, who are all these people? <laughs> that's a great card. Uh, because that's really what it's like, isn't it? It's like, who are all these people? Oh, goodness. Miss C sent all these stellar tiny little hearts. Golly golly. That's going to be like the perfect thing to go right here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, they're so tiny and chippy. Thanks, Miss C. All right, and that one says the big picture. 
too crowded here. I didn't even stand up. Okay. To see if y'all could see what I was doing. Um, let's go back to the yellow. This is a beautiful envelope. So let's tear that sucker apart. Always use your envelopes. Use your happy mail. Use, use, use. Unless it's like this, and it's so secured here that I couldn't pull it apart. <laughs> I just keep looking at it, Miss Sandy. Thank you. I just love it. What a cheerful thing to get. She liked her bracelets, and that just made me happy. All right, we're really utilizing that blue here to go along with the yellow. That really makes a very pretty color combination. So let's do the same thing here. And just we're using that the blue as a background or as a border strip, right? Since it's there anyway. Oh, hey, I can use the stamp. My sister and I were talking this morning about <clears throat> Our conversation started with uh, not having central air conditioning when we were growing up. It was just not something that people had. And uh, we were talking about the other things that, you know, we did not have growing up. And it wasn't that we were poverty stricken or anything like that. I mean, we were a typical family growing up in the 60s. We weren't affluent by any means. But, um, you know, then that kind of um, then we started talking about uh, planned obsolescence. Now, planned obsolescence is that we, that manufacturers and marketing people have decided to not make things repairable. Uh, so you have to replace a whole thing. You know, you have to replace a whole unit, or you have to replace a whole uh, can opener, or you have to replace a whole, you know, some technology piece, right? And that's planned obsolescence. So that fills our landfills with junk and junk and junk. It's, um, I forgot where I was going with this. Um, oh, because I'm using stuff that I got in the mail. You know, I utilize my junk. Uh, to me, it's not junk. To me, it's creative fodder. And I fixed stuff. I fixed my watch. I changed the battery in it and um, cleaned it up. And I've had this watch for like mm, 17 years. I also fixed my... You know, I have one of those hair remover things because when you get old, you get hair like on your face and it's super annoying. Um, and it, I dropped it and it fell apart. Well, it's, it's all plastic, right? So, of course, I thought, you know, I, I have this thing where I'll put stuff in a, in a plastic bag and just put it on the table. And that's kind of like my, um, you know, it's, you know what it's like? It's like, uh, remember in Jane Austen, they, they had work baskets, you know, all the girls kept a work basket and that was where you, you know, you did small needlework or you did repairs on your, you know, on handkerchiefs or whatever, you know, you just didn't chuck things away you just didn't throw things away so I repaired that um, I repaired a can opener I call it my Frankenstein can opener because I just put pieces and <laughs> pieces and parts together I mean the idea is to just not I realize we do you know we have to buy, to purchase things all right this is um, Miss S's gorgeous envelope. Holy cow, look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? 
Isn't that just so pretty? I'm going to tear it up. <laughs> I'm glad she hangs out with us because she understands. She understands. And she put this sweet birdie on it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I think I'm going to have to keep the little birdie in this part of the envelope and put it in my journal because it's just so pretty. All right. Also going to use this beautiful strip right here that says two. I was working off camera because it had my address there. But I think everybody knows my address anyway. Because I get lots of things from y'all. I thought I might take that little, you know how you get these little pieces of glue sometimes? There we go. What else have I, oh, Chris, yesterday we had to take the new um, car. He bought a new car. Well, not a new car, a used car. Uh, and he had to take it in because it was making this bizarre noise. And, you know, it's a modern car, so you never know what that noise might be. Anyway, we took his 1980 Datsun station wagon. I drove the new car, and he drove the Datsun station wagon so we could drop the new car off at the dealership. And we were driving home, and the Datsun, he said, I need to get this home because there's a hose on it that is bad, a coolant hose, and I need to fix it. So, brought the car home, brought the car home, I'm looking for something, hold on, brought the car home, he pulled it in the driveway, pulled it down to the garage, and okay, hold on, I was trying to find something, I can think and talk at the same thing. at the same time. To life. Mm, that would be a great journal prompt. To life. What do you say to life? To your life. To your past life. To your future life. Anyway, so he brought the car home and fixed it. He said, I've got a hose. I can do it. And he can. He can freaking fix anything. Awesome. Oh, you know, fixed it up. I think we'll put some layers on this one. It'll be kind of fun. And obsolescent. So if you're interested in reading about something that is just very interesting, check out Planned Obsolescence. It's a marketing ploy to get you to buy something new. And then, you know, just see how long we can make something last. Obviously, the 1980 Datsun has lasted 41 years. <laughs> I can't really imagine what the life of a new car is like now. Okay, I'm going to fast forward because i got got to show you. For one thing, I'm going to show you this thing that Miss C sent. Miss C sent me a birthday package, and this was the envelope that had a card in it. Is that not gorgeous? Goodness, she does great work. Okay, so now this is from Cody. 
Hey, Cody buddy. Oh my gosh. Now this is a, a an envelope that Cody designed using one of his favorite things, which is a panda. He crafts with his grandma. I just think that it is absolutely stellar. Now, look up here. So what did this item have as a life before it was an envelope? It was a math folder. I love your colors too, Cody. I really do. I think they're awesome. He's just so cool. <laughs> Is he not cool? And they sent this little package. Okay, so this was the last package they sent. Thank you, Cody. I absolutely love everything in here, buddy. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so pretty. I love that lime green. A cluster. Hey, one of my favorite words, scalawag. Pleasantly mischievous person, a rascal. And all of these have a little hole cut at the top. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Ooh, Cody, we're gonna use some of these things when we make pockets and journals. Look at that beautiful cluster. Harvest table apple pie. I bet Cody loves these too. There's an owl. And that's super cool. That's like a trifold there. Ooh. Okay. Cody, you do good work, buddy. Cody is eight. Thank you, Cody. I just love it. I, I am so looking forward to everything that you send. What a great job you do. Thank you so much. Love it. All right, let's, um, now let's use some of these things that Cody sent to make some, to bump out our chippies. Remember I said we can always bump things out? Look at that. Look at how beautiful that turned out. Cody, look. Cereal boxes, buddy. There we go. Oh my gosh. That turned out great. What a beautiful chippy. All right, let's do one more. Let's get that other cluster that we had going here. I'm gonna choose a different. Look at that. Is that not just neat? Okay, so we got this one going on too, Cody. There we go. All right, okay, we are at the point where I gotta get something done. <laughs> Other than having fun with chippies, which is one of my favorite things. Okay, let's go for our story, y'all. Let's see what we can make a story about. Um, this is my letter to life. It's been many years since life cobbled together the small pieces of childhood, teenagerhood, young adulthood, med adulthood, old ladyhood to create the big picture of life. And I've loved life. Sometimes it's been super crowded Sometimes it's been alarming, still quite alarming, quite often. But just when I think every day is going to be a Monday, I remember that life, life is a gift and that every day we get a 24 hour gift card so we can make, we can grab the day and make a giant difference and be in love with nickels and be in love with all of the pluses that we have in life. So the small things and the big things. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all.
I hope that you enjoy a chippy session. It's good for the soul. Makes you feel good. See you later, y'all. <laughs>